I spent 10 years living as a prisoner inside of a North Korean political prison camp. My name is Kang Chol Hwan, ask me anything. What were some of the more extreme things you saw while in camp? Did you make any friends in prison that you intend to keep up with as time goes by? What is the craziest thing that happened to you personally while serving your time? The most extreme thing in the camp was how desperate people were to live. And also, seeing executions where people were hanged to death in public. The most normal form of execution is by shooting. I have made friends in North Korea. However, it is very dangerous to contact them even in North Korea. Needless to say, it is even more difficult when I'm in South Korea. What kind of food did they give you to eat? And what time did you have to get up and go to bed? Did they let you talk to the other prisoners at all? They had a very limited ration of food. As there were many cornfields, they mostly ate corn as a staple. Due to a period of malnutrition, people started turning to hunting for rats for consumption. Prisoners are able to talk to each other. What percentage of North Koreans don't like Kim Jong-un? At first, there weren't many people who dislike them because of the lack of outside information. In the past, 80% of people liked Kim Il-sung 40% liked Kim Jong-il. However, as there is an influx of outside information, Mr. Kang suggests that only 20% of people like Kim Jong-un. Also, as there are many negative connotation about Kim Jong-un egg. Building mixed saunas and karaoke's for adult entertainment. What made you question the propaganda, while so many others never did? External information made him question the propaganda. The truth is, as external information and content becomes more common in North Korea, via the black market or through sharing, more and more people are questioning the credibility of the regime. However, many people are uncertain of what can be done to improve in the situation. How did you escape North Korea, and did you flee alone? Huge respects to you. I can't think how strong people like you are. He escaped by the river into China. With the help of some Chinese, he hid in a Chinese vessel into international waters and got saved by a Korean ship. He escaped with his friend. What memory do you cherish the most from North Korea? What memory do you wish you could forget? Thank you for everything you have done. The most cherished memory when he was in Pyongyang and attending elementary school. The memory he wished he could forget when he was in prison. Despite the horrible conditions inside of the camp, was there anything positive that gave you hope slash respite? Although the camp is horrible, he feels like it gives people the will to live, even when life is hard. Also, although it is really small, he made many friends, and it seems rather close-knitted. Do you think that the average NK citizen believes that the regime has their best interest at heart? Definitely not. North Korean citizens know that the regime does not have their best interest, but most of them could not do anything to change their circumstances. Is it true that marijuana is legal in North Korea? Is it commonly smoked by people there? Nope, it is illegal. But it is really commonly smoked and available. Also, punishment is lenient. What are your feelings of Trump getting friendly with Kim Jong-un? At first, it seemed like a good thing. It feels like Kim Jong-un is more comfortable with Trump as compared to Xi Jinping. However, Trump is now against Kim Jong-un as he failed to denically rise as promised. Trump probably thinks that his discussions with Kim Jong-un was useful for re-election. Did any of the guards look remorseful or upset by the situation they were in? Any hidden small acts of kindness or mercy? Hi, much apologies for the late reply. As human beings, we all have feelings and guards too will show sadness or feel fear when they do harm to another North Korean. However, it's also understandable that they are also afraid of getting punished by the regime. So, despite feeling fear, they have to nonetheless do as they are told. We only hear of bad stuff, what are the good sides of living in NK, if any? Hi, sorry for the late reply. We live a simpler lifestyle, and we are more close-knitted with our family. We do not have many distractions and so, we led a healthier lifestyle too. There's no night entertainment and everyone goes home early. Naturally, with this, we are able to bond with our friends and family better. What did they feed people there? Did you get anything to eat, or drink or did you basically live off the land? In prison, we are rationed with very limited amount of food like rice. It's not enough, 
so we turned to eating corn and rats. Otherwise, many people just suffered from malnutrition and other dietary medical problems. I was living Pyongyang before I went to prison and Pyongyang after. We ate normally rice, noodles, meat, etc. 